She said, I don't know when the conversation switched from the discussion of academics to the discussion of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. I don't even, because if somebody had told me they were going to discuss the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, I would never have showed up. I was so closed off to this idea. But as they were talking, as the girls were talking, she said suddenly something hit my heart and it just opened. This heart that had been so close to anything related to religion, to Islam, to the Prophet, anything, was so closed off. And when Hidayah is meant to come, the moment and how and the, on the tongue of whom it comes with, Allah Ta'ala Alam, and it just opened. And she said, there I was, suddenly I was hit with this wave of love for the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And I found myself listening intently. <coughs> and then I realized, wait a second, this group is almost all hijabis. <laughs> and she said, and do you know what I was wearing that day? And this is where the real, the real crux of the story is. I said, yeah, you, what could you possibly be wearing? So she says, the whole conversation is happening in Arabic. <laughs> and then when she came to this point, she said, mini skirt. And I said, what? <laughs> so in English, she repeats again, mini skirt. <laughs> Clearly it showed on my face. I was just... And she said, you know, Yaranya, if the woman had judged me for how I looked, I never would have entered into that room. If they judged me for who, on my, just what my outside was, I never would have been invited in to study the deen. If they had judged me and said, ah, she's one of those women, she's one of those feminist, uh, I don't know what women, right? I would never have begun this journey. And there I was, fully welcomed by this group, and one thing led to another, one halaqa led to another, one teacher led to another, and that brilliance that she took to get a doctorate in mathematics at a time when no other woman had a doctorate in mathematics, imagine putting that brilliance into the memorization of Qur'an. 